welcome to Nana's Cooking Craft Corner. On this video, I'm going to show you how to make these adorable magnets, French magnets, and I plan on using this in other projects, these little hats. Um, what I really like about this project is it uses three recycled things. These are all kinds of lids, water lids from different bottles. Then I'm using recycled magnets for this project, and this is a cereal box and cardboard. So three recycle products we're going to use to make these hats. So let's get started. All right, I'm going to start out with, like I said, there's different caps. This one I took two water bottle caps and put them together. This is like from a pop bottle. So I'm going to use the bigger one to do a different hat. It's about this size hat, one like that looks like this. So we need the lid and then I'm going to come in with this, depending on the size punch, the rim of it, uh, I'm going to use, this one's going to be a two and a half inch punch. It looks more like a southern hat. And, uh, ah, there we go. So that's the hat. And then I'm going to come across, because I'll need this in the end, I'm going to put out of my recycle magnet, I'm going to put one about the same size. So we'll start off with those two circles. All right, now, what we're going to do is we're going to start off the wool and do in the center. And I'm just going to, it's going to go round and round. And so we'll just play some music as I do all this part of it.
right, so once it's all around the whole hat, the wall, I'm going to just cut it off and it's time to decorate it. I'm going to come across and pick a ribbon where I have Baker's twine and I just want to decide what color I want to put on this one. decorate now. All right, I have this little thing I want to put right here. All right, that. I think we're going to go pink twine. Tie this in a knot here. And I kind of like the look of Baker's twine on this. All right, and and I have these little pieces that are used normally for nails that I got and I really like the look of this so this is going to come on here uh, they're like dried flowers um, I'm put these on there so come up and put the tacky we want to use the tacky glue on it for that Okay, so once it's decorated, you can decorate any way you want to. Um, and then you're going to come back with the magnet that you pre-cut in the beginning. That's just the same size. Now, you don't need to have punches. You just can put this down on the magnet and glue it. And same with the circle of a cardboard. You don't have to have punches. You just uh, do, do it to cardboard and cut the circle after you're finished. Um, now, I'm going to take the tacky glue. And you won't even see the cardboard when I'm done. Just get a bunch of tacky glue on here. And I'm going to come back. I have some crafting clamps that I use. And this will take all night. I do not take it off. It stays on 24 hours till it dries. Because even if you were to use the hot glue, it'll come off. Um, the magnet will come off of this stuff. I've used hot glue lots of times and it doesn't work good to put a magnet on stuff. Um, it'll eventually come off, but this seems to work good, the tacky glue, but you have to leave it on overnight. And I just let it dry like that, and by the morning it'll be all good in 24 hours. And I clamp it down. Alright. So here's ones that I did. Um, different styles, and I'll be doing more of these, I found them really cute, and they're going to be great gifts to give away or stay tuned because you'll be seeing me use these in different things other than for magnets on upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and if so please leave a like and if you're new to my channel please subscribe. Thanks for watching. All my videos are released on Mondays and I hope to see you soon on the next video. Bye for now.